want to be a in bed a resorter at the Balsam's Grand Hotel, just south of the Canadian border. For birdie and to take this hole, finally. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got it. And I'm two down. With three to go, Martin. Here we go. And we're now on the par three 16th hole, which could be the last if Rick wins it. Which I plan on, Martin. 16 is called Ross's Rose. This is a picturesque par three. The mastery of Donald Ross comes out here. The way it sets so nicely out of the wind, uh, gently sloping up the hill. Club selection is a paramount. It's going left. A little hooky. Ooh, and a not nice kick. A fine shot in the air and on the golf course. He is in a better position with a good little approach coming in. This made me think of St. Martin, an island in the French Antilles. Martin, has anybody ever called you St. Martin? No, but I was named after St. Martin. He was named after St. Martin. How about Martinique? Has anybody called you Martinique? No, okay. Just trying to distract Martin. Oh, well done. How good is that? Oh, almost on the green. We've located Rick's ball. And now his second shot, he's going to try to avoid this tree directly in front of us. I should try to go over it, Martin? That might, that might be a bold move. Uh, I'll have to go low. Shot. I don't know if it made the green. I don't think it did. Rick's third shot here, chipping for par. He duffed that one a little bit. I mean, that was almost as bad as my whiff. Almost, not quite. I, yeah, but. I would like to argue with you, but I can't. That was pretty sad. Fine looking shot. Is it going to hit the stick? Oh, it just rolls just past. We both lie three putting for bogey. Tune in next time and see what happens.